Colombia is no doubt a beautiful place with a strange and wonderful culture, but like everything else on planet Earth, it's not perfect. Colombia has its fair share of flaws, but what are some reasons you should avoid visiting Colombia? Here we are covering reasons you should never visit Colombia. Stay tuned. Why is driving terrible in Colombia? Colombia has beautiful sights to be seen and many tour guides you can take to see them, but it's very much not recommended that you go off of those paths because it can end up getting very dangerous for two reasons. One reason is the extremely difficult and dangerous roads in Colombia. To detail how insanely dangerous it is driving, we can take a look at one of their most notorious roads, the eerily titled Trampoline of Death. This road has taken hundreds of lives. This is due to how the dirt road is very dangerously narrow, winding, and often very foggy. The road has many blind corners and long one-latch stretchers that really hug the edge of the cliffs. The second reason that driving in Colombia is not the best is the danger that comes from Colombian drivers. It's especially a place to avoid for animal lovers since there are dead animals littered all up and down the street. It's a wide variety of animals that are killed by the reckless drivers. Those animals include anteaters, raccoons, possums, owls, squirrels, eagles, and black vultures. The roads of Colombia are not only incredibly dangerous for humans, but animals too. Horrible air pollution. The air pollution is atrocious. One out of every 20 deaths in Colombia are credited to the horrible and life-threatening air pollution. In urban parts of Colombia, the air conditioning is frighteningly worse than twice this amount. Over 60% of the population in Colombia breathes air that is more polluted than the WHO guidelines. Every year, there are 15,000 deaths in Colombia that are credited to the air pollution. It's worth noting that only 8,000 of those deaths are due to outdoor pollution. The other 7,000 are the result of indoor pollution. Things like cooking, heating with wood and other solid fuels. There are often steps taken to try and stop the pollution. There will be times where the government declares what we are called no car days, which is pretty self-explanatory. It also asks of all the residents and tourists that they completely avoid doing any type of physical evidence. But we must give credit where it's due. The air in Columbia is better than it was in the past. With that being said, there is still some work that needs to be done in order to reach the WHO standard for air quality. The difficult way money works. One of the things that makes Colombia a hard place to survive is the rather difficult way that they work their money. While not confusing to the residents of Colombia, it's hard to understand to a visiting tourist trying to quickly purchase something at a store. For Americans, one singular dollar is, well, a dollar. But down there in Colombia, it takes 20.68 pesos. While in America, there are bills of 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. In Colombia, the bills are of 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, and 100,000. The coins are different as well. Instead of the cheapest coin being simply one cent, as it is with the penny in America, the cheapest coin you can find there is for $50, which sounds like a lot, but we must keep in mind that a simple bottle of water costs 2,000 COP. So it would take you 40 of those $50 coins to simply get water. Most banks in Colombia actually don't even exchange money for that. You'll have to go to what are called money exchanges that are all over the major cities. The constant hustling. In every single part of the world, there are people who are trying to make money. Some go to work, have no choice but to ask for money, and some try to sell their talent and or product. It's not rare to walk through the streets of New York City and get stopped by somebody offering a product that they've either made or are selling for much cheaper. The market value or trick they do or a talent that they've mastered. You're not all obligated to pay them, but it's implied. This is the same thing that happens in Colombia, but rather than a random person coming up to you as you walk down the streets, it's a random person coming up to you in a place where you're trying to have a good time out of the town. People in Colombia will come up to you in Colombia and try to interest you in many different products, ranging from gum, candy, or even movies. This doesn't sound too bad, it's just people trying to make a living, but it's when you're trying to eat a meal that they're starting to try to make sales that people tend to get upset. What is crime like in Colombia? The crime in Colombia is one reason people heavily question taking a trip out to the country. Thanks to the lack of prominent government figures, the rivers of Colombia run red with crimes. One of the many things that plague the country is the war that takes place on multiple fronts. Unfortunately for the people of Colombia, it's not rare for a civilian to be caught up in the heat of the moment. As a matter of fact, civilians are oftentimes deliberately targeted simply for 
for collaborating. The people behind these slains, as blamed by human rights advocates, are paramilitaries. Aside from this slain of innocent civilians, there are also many cases of disappearances, forced discipline, torture. While these are the works of paramilitaries, there's also the havoc that's wrecked by members of rebel groups. These rebel groups are behind assassinations, extortion, and kidnapping. In a study conducted by Columbia's National Center for Historical Memory in 2013, there were 228 people killed at the hands of rebel groups and paramilitaries since 1958, while 47,787 of them were paramilitaries or rebel groups, and 177,307 of them were civilians. Litter While the country has its fair share of beautiful sights to see within its tourist attractions, there's also a lot of mess and litter all over the streets. There's beautiful rivers and mountains that can be seen, but to get to them, you have to get over tons and tons of trash and the leftovers. It's worth noting that while the litter all over is a very big problem for the country, it's not one that has gone unnoted. Colombia has, as of recently, been trying to make an attempt to switch to more eco-friendly options to use instead of the one-time single-use plastic bags that are given out in stores. As of January 2017, the government instituted a ban on single-use plastic bags that were smaller than 30 by 30 centimeters. In exchange for these bags, they offered alternatives with a higher load carrying capacity. This is an attempt to protect oceans from the constantly looming threat that is the plastic waster. The banning of these single-use plastic bags resulted in a 27% reduction. Colombians pay one US cent or 20 pesos to purchase one use bag. How things are in the country is just confusing. The biggest flaw surrounding the country is just how confusing it is to tourists. While Colombians spent their entire lives learning these rules and regulations and getting used to this type of life, Americans and people of other places spent their time getting used to a completely different type of living, which is why when Americans go to Colombia, things can get very confusing for them. When making plans with someone who was born and raised in Colombia, it's almost a guarantee that they will be late to anything that you could possibly have planned. There's also a different amount of days in a week than we have gotten used to in other places. One person talked about their experience in Colombia, saying that it's not a rare thing for people to give you fake directions. This user speculated that Colombians can't say no to someone asking them for directions. So instead, they'll tell you something that's totally not true at all and then send you on your way to get lost. And when you end up finding another stranger and ask for directions, you'll just end up being in the same situation. The money, as we already discussed, is also very, very difficult to someone who's a stranger in the wild country. There's some reasons to visit Colombia, of course. Being such a beautiful place, many people would love nothing more than to just go to Colombia and see the beautiful scenery with their loved ones, walking the beaches, visiting one of the churches. There's many things to do in Colombia. However, they also will have to experience things that range from simple interruptions while you're trying to eat to murdering and kidnapping civilians. Would you ever consider visiting the country? If not, what turned you off to the idea? Let us know below.